Hey, do you have a moment? Hmm? Oh, sure. Mm. Is everything alright? You haven't seen yourself since, you know. Sloan? Do you remember how they looked at you? What? What do you mean? After Sterling's death. <sighs> as if I were about to burst into tears or flames. Right. I had to forget. I've been getting those looks since yesterday. It's making my skin crawl. I hate to say it, but you'll get used to it. That, although forget. Maybe a bit of both. I know, but actually, that isn't a, really an issue for me most of the time. It's fine if you need some time. God knows I did too. No. No, it's just it. That's just it. I don't need time. I'm ready. They're all looking at me like I should be hurting. Like I really care about. Really care that I just killed my father. But I don't. It means nothing to me. I feel nothing. You can't know how desperately I want to understand why you're looking at me the way that way right now. I guess I've just never had people who cared like this before. Surely your nurses cared for you. They cared for me, but they didn't care about me. Everyone around me has only seen me as a means to an end, and I think I've done the same. But I care about our friends. We're in uncharted territory, and I'm fighting every day to not to lose sight of that. Look, I know this isn't my place to say, but your childhood did every disservice it could have. Even in the time that I've known you, you've come such a long way. You don't unlearn two decades in six months. I don't get it. I know, but I still can't understand. What am I supposed to feel right now? I'm sorry. This was a mistake. Stop. This was not a mistake. To the abyss with how you're supposed to feel. You feel how you feel, and that's that. This is a, a better group to fight and grow with than I've ever known, than I ever could have prayed for. But our expectations don't define you. You're going to come along at your own pace. I, for one, am impressed with how far you've come. Uh. Are you for real? Are you really? For all I've been... For all that I've always been ready to reap... <coughs> Fucking Christ! For all that I've always been able to read people... You're like a slab of granite. I've never known what you're thinking. Well... You aren't the only one that's built up a wall. I find it easier to break them down with help. So I keep hearing. Yes. But let me answer your question. Yes, I'm impressed with how far you've come. Not long ago, we this feisty, selfish thing yelling at us even after res we rescued you. Now look at us, leading a revolution together. You're a central piece of it. Not really, she doesn't do much in combat. And it has nothing to do with pursuing a personal agenda. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? It has. I'm more than thankful that you've still that you're still along with us. We couldn't be doing this without you. Yes, we could. And in many ways, more ways than your political station. Well, I guess we wouldn't have done what we did last time without him. Thank you, Irving. I think I need someone to help me help walk me through this. Silly thing, that. Not silly at all. You're human. Even if you're only just letting yourself realize that. Irving, I'm glad you could make it. Maeve wouldn't say a word without you present. Hmm. A word? What about? Have you heard? Have you made a breakthrough? Uh, not exactly, but I've just recently received explicit permission from the council, from the Mystic Council, to share what I know. I see. Go on then. My council, along with the Order of Eternals, was founded in, in the immediate aftermath of the Calamity. Before the fall of the Empire, their members belonged to the same body, one that fulfilled a sort of combined purpose. It was called uh, the Magisterium Arcana, and functions as a sort of independent branch of the Imperial government. Its members were some of the most widely re res respected academics of the time, charged with the study, application, and protection of the Arcane's objects. While the Order of Eternals was formed specifically to account for the aspects, I do not know. Vesta, do you have any knowledge of this? Not specifically. I'm hoping 
whatever we receive back from the Order will help clarify that. Intriguing. Though I'm not quite sure how this relates to Akmanos or the staff. Actually. That's what I'm getting to. The grief-stricken sorcerer who created the staff did so just before the Calamity, after which it was stolen by a student with divine ambitions. What? Divine ambitions? What do you mean? Irving, there's reason to believe the legend of the age of, legends of the age, age of Ascension are more than just stories. It seems some incredibly gifted mortals are actually able to obtain elevated levels of significance in the astral plane upon excelling in certain areas of life. Elevated levels of, ex of significance? The fuck does that mean? It's true then? That each of the gods re revered across Terrazil was once mortal like us? If gods is a turn you ascribe to them, then yes. Then did the student succeed? I think not. Quite the opposite. He designed a ritual which he called the Rite of Ascension, to realize his ambition, but it was terribly wrong. I believe it may actually be linked to the cause of the Calamity itself. And what do you know of this ritual? Hmm. That seems to be the final piece missing in all this. The Mystic Council has no record of it, other than to say that knowledge is kept by the Order of the Eternals. Vesta, does this spark anything in your memory? I'm afraid not. I know that the Order has a high restriction, has highly restricted archives on Cosmere, but I've never had cause to visit it. I've always pressed for them to press. I've always pressed them for anything that might help. I suspect it. I suspect if my superiors know anything of it, will be the first to know. Cosmere, that name has been tied up in all this before. All the more reason so much depends upon receiving word from the Order. I suspect Dark Manos could be of great service to us in answering these questions if he could be compelled to help us. I suspect you're right, Elias. I suspect you're right. Elias, are we any close to tracking him down? Yes and no. What do you mean? On one hand, I found him. That's great news. You should have said something sooner. We should be able to employ his own device to get him to share what he knows. Hold on. Unfortunately, it's not so simple. He's learned a great deal about me from the time I've spent inside his machinations. With his knowledge of my weakness, says I don't think I'll be able to face him alone. The only viable strategy I could think of would be to lure him out of the staff somehow. I wouldn't even know where to begin doing that. And at the very least, it would require, would likely require his cooperation. So much hangs on few things which grow more and more unlikely with each passing day. Let's each hope for a stroke of luck or inspiration. Or both. At this point, direct confrontation with Varric seems inevitable. I expect this knowledge will become essential soon. The odds have never been better, and there's no reason to believe that... They ever will be. The time to strike is now or never. Sojourn is completely cut off from its arms and provisions, and the majority of Delians are on our side. My contact informs me soldiers on the road are already designate deserting in droves. Once word spreads that the scourge of Almiron has been lifted from the canopy, every commoner east of Dragon's Tail will be taking up arms to fight by our side. Even so, the question remains of how to take the city. A siege is a traditional choice. So a city of the size of Sojourn, it would be rather difficult. Could we pull it off? If the garrison spreads itself as thin as we would to surround it, yes. But if they could, but if they concentrate the forces, they'd surely be able to break through and reset the clock. Only the common people stand to lose in sieges. Even tyrants keep their soldiers warm and fed. Besides, we'd have to account for attrition on our side as well. A direct assault is only is the only viable option. Certainly, if we could defeat Varric, the city would fall. His command over his officers seems to be the only thing keeping a soldier in service to him. Would our forces suffice to keep his? To get us to keep indirect assault? Oh god, I am fucking up a lot of words here, Jesus. I've been speaking for so long, give me a map, I want to play the game. Ah. 
I expect so. But we need to defeat Varric quickly to prevent them from getting surrounded and pelted from every direction. Time would not be on our side. We've raised the Sanglass and won before. A direct assault is the best choice for the people of Delia. If we do succeed in disposing Varric, we'll need their support to rebuild. Again, it seems we've des we're destined to take the path most fraught with peril, but I must agree. This is what justice demands. Lincoln, mobilize the troops for an assault as quickly as you can. Report back when you're ready. It's time to take this war back to the man who started it. Welcome back to another part of Dark Deity. We're here for chapter 24, the final march. Wasn't that different to what it was called last time? At the end of chapter 23? Whatever. Anyway. Let us make way, you can probably see that pop-up there of my friend playing Total War Rome 2. Empire Edition, Emperor Edition. Uh, there you are. Uh, I should probably cover that. But I won't. Anyway, I'm an Amossi, but you probably already know that. Let us head into the chapter, shall we? Enough fucking around. Because, well, the dialogue for this chapter was long, and I'm pretty fucking hungry, so I want to get this chapter done so I can go eat. <laughs> The tide has turned, with all forces prepared to crash in the walls of Sojin. Marching now, the party has devised a plan. They have an inside man, Dolphin Bloodstone, a well-respected and long-time member of the, of the palace guard. Dolphin believes that Varric needs to be stopped. He has arranged for the party to sneak through a small back gate, giving them direct access to the gatehouse. If they can make it to the controls, they'll be able to open the city gates to the bulk of their forces. More dialogue. Abyss, take me back. What of you? Mm. Fuck, I fucked up Garrick's voice. You've picked up too many foul lang so too much foul language from Brooke. <laughs> oh, come on now. Ford 2. Be happy, Marin. Doesn't swat you when you say it. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> we are, believe me. So... There it is, Sojin in all its glory. <laughs> Don't get all sappy on us now, Garrick. Hold hold on, who's sappy? <laughs> I think we can all see it coming. The big speech about how long you how much you love and appreciate us. I planned nothing of the sort, regardless. If I had been, you'd have gone on and ruined it. <laughs> I feel to ask. I used to miss Brookstead a lot. I don't anymore. Is that bad? Not at all. Brookstead isn't our home anymore. How would you say that? I've always imagined return we'd return there after all this. Put down roots for some future generations. Mm. I don't know. I want my children to be able to make their own path. I know what you mean, Garrick. After all we've been through, I have to think the Academy is a cruel system. I wouldn't have gotten to meet all of our new friends in any other way. There's something to be said for that, but what if my true destiny was to be a stable hand? Hmm. Here we go. What? Garrick, there is no chance in a thousand lifetimes you'd be a stable hand. Why not? I'd be a great stable hand. Alden, just because it worked out for us doesn't mean it worked out well doesn't mean it would work out for the next generation. Please hurry the fuck up, I want to play the game. By God. I'm sick and tired of this of this mindless banter. Sorry, that was out of character. Think of all our old friends from Brookstead that have had to betray their morals for Varric. Yeah, but most of them were mean to me anyway. Kids got a point. To the abyss with them. I guess it's important to say what our... It's impossible to say what our lives will look like, even a year from now. If all goes well, lots of red meat and constant dreams of good wine. You've had two mugs of wine in your whole life. So? Maybe I want to get into that, into the culture of it. I hear they have a hundred different types of a level. Mm -hmm. I didn't like wine when I tried it. Yeah, but you're like a kid. Mm -hmm. Who gave you wine? Oh, no. Oops! He made me promise not to say anything. It was just a sip. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill Ford one of these days. Oh, hey, he'd probably be a good person to ask about wine. Again with the wine. Hope we got the chance to enjoy ourselves like this. I just can't really see it happening. 
Oh, Irving, the realist. Let me have my dreams. I hope everyone sticks around. It's like having a big family. I hope so, too. Well, I'm ready to put it all to the test. Show back what we're made of. We've come this far. We can do this. If it means an end to the violence, I don't... I'd do anything. Let's just hope we can handle peace as well as we've handled war. Let's hope. Oh my god, is it not done yet? Okay, we're... Soon. That's the wolf, he wolf hat, dude. This is our contact. Dolphin Bloodstone is your service. None of the newest guards know about this entrance, but we've still, we still have to be quick. Come on. You'll have to find your way from here. Head south along the battlements, and you have, and you should find the gatehouse. I don't think I need to explain how to pull the lever that opens the gate. Thank you. You've done the right thing. That's what we'd all like. That's what we all like to think, right? I just, I just do anything you can to stop the bloodshed. If you take Varric out, I promise you, you, many of us will lay down arms. That's what we're hoping for. You're a good man. Thank you. Get out of here before one sees you. I have a feeling it's about to get rocky. Come on, let's try to get the gate open with as few casualties as possible. It's about time we end this. If you do make it to Varric, make sure you finish this. The people of Delio are with you. All of us. Is it time? Will we begin the chapter? I bloody well hope so. Because I've been talking for what feels like four days. I uh, just for your knowledge, I'm recording this immediately after part 23. So for me, I have been talking for quite a while. But this is... That has most certainly dragged. I will be real. I'm sure there are some of you that would have absolutely loved that dialogue there. Found it charming and sweet that, you know, the war effort seems to be drawing to a close and they can talk like they did at the beginning. But for me, that was just irksome. Right. Uh, there's a lever here, a lever here, and a lever here. We have to... How the fuck do we get there? Couldn't tell you. Because I have absolutely no idea. Interesting. Well, there's a ton of enemies with tons of drops. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Ooh, exquisite wine. That's what I like to hear. Some tier 2 tokens, I could use those actually. Tier 1 token, not as useful, but I'll take it. Tier 2 token. Tier 2 token. Any other drops among the riffraff? There's this guy who has a tier 1 token. And that's it. Right. Let's get this over with, shall we? Opening the gate. Opening the gates to allow the rest of your forces to enter the city. That's a weird sentence. I still wonder... Oh, so I assume I have to go here, and that'll get me here, probably. Right. Uh, Sia and Bianca are probably my best bets to getting there. So, let's make headway, shall we? I'm going to draw as much aggro as I can with them. While also trying to take down these enemies that are immediately in my way. Uh, bro, I'm actually so hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna have a, a nice, nice burger after I've finished here. From a nice burger. I say nice, it'll be a microwave burger, but look. It's good enough, okay? Uh, Maeve, you can take these ones. Yeah, you can take them fine. Send a healer this way. Caius can go have fun with this guy. Bianca, not Bianca, Sia can head down. Uh, Faust can head over here. Alden can go back up these guys. And Fenton, I guess, can help Faust out. Faust? Faust. I might end up cutting some of this map. I said that last time and probably haven't. I haven't edited that yet, as I said, because I'm recording this immediately after. So I don't know whether or not I'll be cutting anything out. Really got hit there. It's a bloody good thing I'm sending a healer your way, isn't it? Okay, level up for Caius, putting him to 38. 
Wow, guys, level luck. What the fuck? So she just got hit by a 42. I'm mad. And it was for a lot of damage as well. Okay, maybe I've underestimated this chapter. Maybe. I've most certainly underestimated this chapter. Fuck. Um, that is pretty yabai. Very yabai indeed. Heal. Uh, what do you have? Shit, he has a massive Yumi. Which one am I marking the range of? What? Oh god. I'm also pretty out of it, because I'm very, very hungry. This probably wasn't the best time to start recording. But whatever. It's when I chose to, and there's nothing I can do about it now. But get on with it. Nice, she killed. Um, we have a three range. We have, well actually I can put you here. Heal. Lovely level up. I can work with this. Yeah, that was a really good level. Jesus. Can do. Bianca, I'm just going to throw you into the fire. Uh, Ren. Thank you. I don't like that you got doubled there, but nothing I can do about it. Uh, actually, Fenton. Okay, never mind. I was going to have Fenton secure that, but that's never happening. Maybe I should have given Faust a tier 4 weapon with uh, the tokens I had. But, whatever. I'm actually going to send Fenton up top. Just to help out. So it shall be. I'm also thinking I'm going to send Liberty up top as well. Irving can head down. Monroe can go here. Caius, you can come join over here. Really? Well, you had a lower hit rate than he did on you, so it makes sense. Fast may have got hit, but self-healing is king. Yeah, a lot of them have gone up top, and I dislike that. Fuck's sake! Uh, I am very annoyed. Mendox set. Level up for Vesta. Duly rewarded. I guess it is. Don't push him. That'd be... Just, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. No. Hey, Fenton, I'm proud of you. You got a kill. Aye, that'll do. That's also a pretty good level up. Fender's got decent defense, so I hope he'll be able to tank some of these, but at the same time, I'm not relying on him tanking any of these. Oh, fuck's sake. Right. You can't kill him, but you can do a good number to him. I just want to kill as many of the melees as I can. Right. Uh, Bianca. Yeet yeet. Your path isn't blocked by any of them, which is perfect. Oh my god. Wow, okay, she gets no EXP from these guys now. Oh boy. Right, who are we going to give this kill to? Give it to Irving. With the Sachinova. So it shall be. I'm actually going to send... Uh, I don't know, fuck. Uh, maybe I'll send more people up top to help out. And then we can flank around. At the same time, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. I'm doing it now. There's nothing you can do to stop me. You command. In fact, yeah, Caius, go down. I don't know what I was going to say, but I was going to say something. Kill that mage. Oh boy. I'm already finding this map boring. And he's dead. And he is dead. Is Bianca stealing EXP? Maybe. Do I care? No, not at all. Oh, God. 
Alden may die this turn. If that archer targets him, he is dead this turn. Okay, the archer didn't target him. He's good. He's all good. Oh boy. Astral Assault. Uh, no. Heal Fen- My shield is yours. Heal Fenton. Aye. Uh, hit him with a bonk. Of course you got hit. Hit. Yeah, we're gonna send Ren this way. Just to assist them when they get down here. Although there's nothing for them to do when they get round there. Um, I will just quickly top off Bianca. Putting her there is probably really ballsy, but whatever. Go. Oh, it just puts me here. Well, that's perfect. Wait, what weapons do these guys have? Oh, bugger. I want to get attacked by as few of them as possible. In position. I was expecting it to put me out here. But then I should have realized, given there's not a blue square there. So we have three levers to pull, and Bianca's going to go get all of them. Oh, hold on. Be right back. Apologies for that, I just had to take a phone call. Wasn't a very long one, but I had to take it nonetheless. And now I'm back, let's continue with this shit, shall we? I do need to protect her from, like, instant death. Uh, that might actually be pretty difficult. I feel like in this game, defensive stats really don't matter. I feel like avoid is way more important than defensive stats are. Also, as you can see, we've got Irving up to Falchion. He's got a crit weapon now. It's light, so it keeps his true speed decently high, and also uh, gives him that like spicy little bit of extra crit damage. Right, how do you handle these guys? 26 is quite a bit of damage, but as long as we don't engage, we should be fine. Oh, that's a pretty high hit rate. Oh, that's a nasty hit rate, and I can't kill them on player phase. I might have to send Seer there. Seer might be the better choice just to kill them on an enemy phase as well. Because if I want to heal, I can't take them on player phase. Yeah. Can Seer get to the... Oh, she just misses. Shit. Um, yeah. Right. You can take one. Can I get you out of range of both of them? I can. So you, you can take one attack, and that's all you're going to take. You're going to take this one to, the attack from this one, but the other two can't hit you. So you should be fine. Right. Enemies this side. Yes. Let's hopefully kill this archer. Oh, bugger. Well, we nearly did. Yeah, in reality, I'm thinking maybe I should have sent more of them down bot lane. Bot lane? What is this, a MOBA? Jesus. Right. Heal. I didn't need to put you that close, because you got three range healing. I could have put you much further out. Right, that's him. And you can cook this man. What to tell you? Impressive. 130 hit points. When did your HP get that high? What? When did his HP get that high? I know it's increased by half a matter, but whoa! I feel like that got away from me with how high his hit points are now. Jesus. Who's yet to move? Those guys, I don't care about them anymore. <laughs> They're not going to be able to get close enough in time. Ah! Uh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a big problem. Oh my god. Praise Aaron Jesus. And for some reason, that one on the bottom there just stood there and did nothing. Oh my god. I need to get to see it and heal her now. Jesus. That's a fantastic level up, Faust. I'm very proud of you. Oh, there are enemies over there. I didn't even notice. Are there any more of them? No. Oh, boy. 
That was that scary. Right. Uh, if I put you here, I should be able to get you close enough to heal her. Yep, you can get a little help. Right, what weapon do you have? You have a Dwarven Longbow. You shouldn't be able to hit her. So I'll move you forward, pop an item, just to be safe. We're gonna... Uh, it's only 20, but it puts you above one-shot range. Yeah, it should put you above one-shot range. Actually, it might not. I may have made a big mistake. Oh well. We'll find out, won't we? Oh god. Um, right. Everybody group in the center. Now you guys up here. Can you finish him off? Very easily you can. That's a really good level. Ren leveled strength. With his... I mean, it's 50% now, but like... Before, he would never level strength. I don't know why I attacked him from range. I just did. And that'll do. Uh... Really? Are you kidding me? I've had such bad RNG on this map. Really? I got hit by a 22? Oh my god. That's frustrating as anything. Yes, yes, hurry up. Hurry up, enemy turn. Thank you. Yes, yes. Can you tell that I don't care for this map anymore? 69. Nice. Anyhow. Right. Go. Kill. Now, you can... Actually, if I just put you here, she can heal you from here. Which will put you, not to a high amount of HP, but it'll put you decent. You know, it'll top you off. Why does it display his HP as 112? What the fuck? He has 130, but in combat it displays 112. What? I am very confused. Alright, we are nearly done with this map. Uh, yeah, no one cares about those guys up top, so we'll just end the turn. Oh look, he could do damage. Right. Support. Why am I choosing to attack from range? I must be stupid. Uh, let's actually start moving some of these guys. In fact, you know what? You can go this way. Whatever it takes. We'll get them heading to the right. Monroe can go left to help out over here. I'm here. Uh, you can go to the left because they'll need healing. Top Bianca off. I guess you can go to the right just so we have some so semblance of magic so damage on the right. Indeed, it shall be. And everyone else can wait because I can't be asked to move them all. Yep, yep, uh huh. Hayek Shiroyo. Right, two levers. I can pull one next turn. Monroe. If I must. Thank you. Get yourself a nice little bit of EXP. And tier 1 token. How very nice. But because you can move here and heal. Yay. Level up for her. Level 34. I can work with this. Oh, now that's good. Let's get going. Are you joking? You actually just missed 285s. Are you kidding me? Are you actually serious? Are you fucking for real? This map is a joke. I mean, just got crit as well. Are you kidding me? Is the only path Bro, this map is such a joke. I love it when games make things artificially harder. I know that I'm just frustrated. It's not. I just got unlucky. But that, that, are you kidding me? This is, that's actually aggravating. For fuck's sake. I'm, I'm genuinely pissed off. As you can probably tell by that. Are you kidding me? What in the ever-loving fuck is that? Missing two back-to-back -back 85s. Oh, I only have to reach one of them? Why are there two? What? 
Whatever. Whatever, I'm glad to have that map over with. I gave it to them straight. Oh boy. Oh boy, am I glad that map's out of the way. That's another map I utterly despise. And there's no dialogue. Okay, brilliant. And that brings chapter 24, March and Sojin, the final march, whatever it was called, to an end. Um, if you like this part, like, comment, sub, hit the notification bell, whatever the fuck you feel like. And next time, tomorrow, we shall make way into chapter 25, Justice. Uh, where presumably we will fight King Varric. Uh, but yes, with all that out of the way, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I'll see you all next time for the video. Ta-ta, for now.